Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is Panasonic Samba SCHTB258 Samba. This is very flat and compact Samba, 45 centimeter wide. This Samba deserves your attention. It's 120 watts sound output. This Samba is with wireless subwoofer. Okay, now. This gear deserves your attention. You can hook this soundbar up to your mobile device, computer, TV. You can connect it via Bluetooth and stream music from this home theater gear. You can also connect this soundbar to your TV via optical cable and HDMI arc. Unfortunately, the cables are not included in the packaging, so you need to get the cables separate I'm going to put up a link how you can get these cables. What I want to show you is basically how to connect this soundbar to your TV using optical cable. This is the optical cable. I got this at home. And this soundbar, the optical cable is here. Okay, this is the optic, optical cable spot. And this is this spot here. Port here is for USB for update. And this spot is for HDMI arc okay and this is the wireless subwoofer once you switch it on and switch the soundbar on it will come on automatically okay so switch the soundbar on now and the soundbar is on okay and once you switch it on the sun the subwoofer will, the light will be steady if the light is flashing it means it's not linked okay and you can see this is Bluetooth and it's looking for the Bluetooth device. So what you want to do is to, first of all, connect this to TV using optical cable. Okay, and to do this, this is optical cable. Okay, so you go in to optical cable, push it inside. So push it inside and this, this optical cable is in. Now the next thing to do is, while you are doing this, it's also make sure you switch the soundbar off from the power, okay? Because this optical cable transfer audio sound, okay? Now I have LG TV here. This soundbar can sit underneath Panasonic TV, but it doesn't sit underneath all the TV. Okay, this is LG TV, so it doesn't sit underneath it. It's actually built for Panasonic TV in mind. But this soundbar can you can hook it up to any TV, okay? So once you hook up the optic cable to this end of the soundbar, then the next is do the same thing to the TV, okay? So take this end of the optical cable, okay, to the back of the TV. You can see where it's written optic, optical digital audio. Push it inside and it's in. Okay, you can see it's in. Okay, now the next we need to do is we need to also remember to connect the TV antenna. Okay, so this is the TV antenna. Okay, so hook up the TV antenna. Now the next to do is to plug in the TV. Plug the TV to the socket. Also plug in the soundbar. So plug in the soundbar, subwoofer, and the and the TV to the power socket. Okay, and this in. Now the next we need to do is we need to switch the TV on. You can see the subwoofer. Okay, so switch this soundbar on okay the soundbar is on now okay and once you switch it on the 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 light the wireless subwoofer so we see the soundbar on and wait the soundbar 
okay uh, it's on and it's in bluetooth so what we need to do is we need to we need to select optical from the remote okay select optical and now the sandbar is in optical you can see it's an optical okay so use the remote control okay this is bluetooth this is optical and hdmi so use the remote control and select the cable you have we have the optical here and it's in music and also this wireless subwoofer is linked if it's flashing it means it's not linked okay now what we need to do is we need to select the switch the tv on so switch the tv on and this this is the tv this is the tv audio okay now what we need to do is we need to go to the tv setting okay and scroll down to the sound scroll down to the sound this is a tv speaker so we need to select tv speaker select on it use the side button to go to optical okay this is bluetooth this is mobile device this is optical select here we go can see the audio so this is the audio sound i don't want to leave this in one place you can use the remote for the sound bar to increase the volume so this is the audio can increase the volume Um, with the groups in terms of what they're demanding and meeting some of those demands. I mean, would you, you can also change it from uh, music to cinema. And just oil. Uh, the government this is cinema. Not the so this is how to hook this up. Now what I want us to do is to hook this up using HDMI cable. Okay, so I'm just, before we do that, we need to unplug everything. Unplug, unplug the sound bar, also unplug the TV. Okay. Now, unplug the optical cable. Now, this is okay, from the back here. This is optical cable. The center one is USB for update. Okay, this one is HDMI arc. Okay, so use the HDMI arc cable, push it inside it, and it's in. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to the other end put the other end inside the back the back of your TV. Okay, so we're going to turn this TV around. So this sandbar is built for Panasonic TV. You can stand on it underneath Panasonic TV, but you can still use it to any specific TV you want. So this end goes inside. HDMI into e arc okay and the TV I'm using is LG TV so it's in, in okay now the next we need to do is we need to now switch the sound bar and connect the power cables back to the socket sound bar and the TV now the next thing to do is you need to switch the sound bar on Okay, switch the sandbar and now the sandbar is on then you wait okay and if you look on top you will see it's in optical cable so we need to change it from optical to HDMI arc and you can see the mode is cinema you can change it to music so use the remote control to select HDMI okay so select hdmi and now i can see it changed to hdmi and is in cinema okay and also if you look the sound bar is linked up if it's flashing it means that it's not linked now the next we need to do is we need to go to the tv and select go to the tv sound so switch the tv on so go to your tv sound and see tv settings and scroll down to the sound you can see the sound out is hdmi app device okay so if you can see the sound out is hdmi so if you select on this if you look you can see it's hdmi device okay so this is how to hook this up now to connect this sound bar to tv via bluetooth is what i want to show you first of all what you need to do is 
we need to switch the sound bar on the wireless subwoofer and the sound bar will link up okay and now both are connected if you look here you will see the light that is on here is HDMI and is in music and also the subwoofer is linked okay so now what we want to do is we need to we need to select Bluetooth use the remote control to select Bluetooth the Bluetooth light is now flashing okay so switch the TV on and look for this device so this is the TV switch it on and wait so go to the TV settings okay this is the TV settings so scroll down to this sound scroll down to the sound you can see it's showing us HDMI act this was the setting it was previously so you need to select the sound out okay now use the side button to look for bluetooth okay and this is the bluetooth scroll down to bluetooth device okay search for available device select and now what is doing is searching for available bluetooth device okay here we go you can see the device is available so two devices available so now the next use the blue remote control you can see this sound by SCHTB. Okay, scroll up, select, and it's connecting. So this is the audio. Okay, so one something I notice is when it's in Bluetooth, then you use your TV remote. Use your TV remote to increase the volume. Okay, and decrease the volume. Then if you want to change the cinema, the sound mode, then you use sound bar remote to change. To cinema or music thank you very much indeed guys this is how to connect this sound bar to your tv